Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time zone it is that you're seeing this, watching this, or joining us live. Uh, this is the Wix Online meeting number 28 in June 05. Um, as always, these meetings are recorded in person, uh, or <laughs> recorded for those people that can't be here in person. And before I go to the agenda, even though I always forget the agenda, I just want to say, Fire Giant's been alive for a year now, yesterday. That's like hey, congratulations. amazing. It's like crazy cool. Like, it went by so fast, and so I have a blog post up talking about it and everything like that. So if you want to go read about it and video games and things like that, because that's the kind of CEO I am, um, you can go check it out on my blog. Anyway. Uh, onward. The agenda is actually really simple. Uh, we're going to do triage, review the Wix 3.9 issues, because I think we're probably going to do that from now until there are no 3.9 issues or 3.9 ships. Right, Bob? That works. Yeah, I think so. And then we'll take uh, many questions, comments that we can fit in at the end. And on that note, I think we just go to the website. Yes? That works. All right, let's see which one of these is. There we go. Um, this is 3.9. Do you want to do 3.9 first, or do you want to do um, untriaged? Should we do 3.9 uh, first? Let's do triaged. Okay. Uh, let's, let's triage, then, then do 3.9. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Having no files or components makes an MSI hang. I thought we had a check for this. Um, kind of we do. So, so I, I re or re untriaged a couple of bugs, um, uh, these at the end, uh, because... As I point out, you'll get a nice 71. It, it's it's one of those, you know, we, we provide a diagnostic message. We could add something more specific, but this is such a rare case, I don't know that we, you know, really ought to bother. Yeah, I'm not excited about that. I Honestly, if anything, it would be, here's how I put this. I, I'm fine with this in the context of, um, I-71 could go away if we implemented it nat natively in the Wix tool set. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a great way to look at it. And so as we, I, th I think converting ICES to native stuff in the compiler as much as possible, the linker or binder as necessary, is awesomeness. So to me, yeah. this is that. So okay. we can keep this bug, I don't know if we, I would keep this bug, I would close this bug saying, yeah, we should turn ICE 71 and all the other ICEs into native checks. And then but I don't think we need a bug specifically to say that we want to do that because we no. know we want to do that. We know we want to do that. It's a long-term kind of project thing. And ICE 71 is, you know, in the list. Cool? That works for me. All right. And as always, after being able to click on the first thing, I've lost the mouse. So I have to do it all by keyboard. Um, cannot compile the following thing, short and short. The directory source name attribute short cannot be specified with the attribute short source name present. Yeah, so I, again, re untriage this for just the discussion point of, is it legal to have two short names? Looking at the, or is it legal to have two short compatible 8.3 compatible names. Looking at the MSI SDK, I was kind of like, I don't, I don't think it's legal to have two different names. I think or, it's, I think it's legal. Okay. I, um, I, you can do it, and the only, the reason you would do it is the way that they did it here. The only reason you I've ever seen that you would have the short name two short names is because you want the short short name to be all capitals like they do here. That's This is like the one case where I've seen oh. people do this. Oh, um, that's interesting. But I uh, I don't know that... When was this bug originally opened? No, we don't have... It. Anyway, uh, nobody cares anymore. <laughs> so, there is that. Um, Although it was actually created at the end of 2012. Really? Well, then... Yes. Anyway, that's the only case I've ever seen, and I'm really not okay. that excited about it. So... Um, I don't know what you want to do with that bug. Uh, I, I think, well, but but you know, honestly, I haven't checked directory short names in a long time. But I don't. Yeah, I'd be surprised yeah. if MSI do that. Um, I'm okay with. Oh, this is a source thing. name, so this ends up being the thing that ends up with. No, this ends up being in the directory table. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I expect it's possible. Okay, I I, I just re-entriaged it 
because I didn't think it was legal. If it's legal, then yeah, we should we should support that. Yeah, I think we have a warning or something. I thought there was a warning case for it saying your your source your your long name and your short name using whatever attributes you're using are the same <laughs> in the end. We have a warning that says that's silly, but that's it. That's the only thing I know of. I thought it's a warning. Although again in this case if they're different by case, that's reasonable. Uh kind of, well I mean kinda. <laughs> yeah, kinda. Okay, that's cool. It's, yeah, it's it's yeah, it's pretty. All right, sync request must be deduped. Oh yes, this is settings engine. One day Mike's gonna show up and talk about this thing. But yes, he was telling me about this. This is not much fun. Anyway, yes, this is a bug. And he's doing the nice thing as I asked him to, so we could kind of see where he's going with bugs. In Wix. Yep. So we can open that. He'll take it. Uh, heat XE throws error for schema element label. Yeah, I guess that's possible. Yeah, there, there's a lot of magic in the in project harvesting to to support both CLR two and CLR four. Yes, I'm, and I'm, I'm yeah, sure that's, that's, yeah, that does not surprise me that it does not handle this case. Totally a bug. Totally could be fixed. It should be able to be fi fixed in three X. I believe so. Hey, look, we now support this. Com interop reference assemblies are not included in a managed custom action. Cool. Um, so what? They're expecting it to magically get added? I don't you create a reference to, to a com interop reference assembly. I don't know. Do you have to mark it like copy local or something like that? I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so uh, I think John's like, yeah, market copy local. I think that's what you have to do. And, okay, John does it. Hey, John, you want to take this bug? Put the resolution, resolve it, call it good. Because I think trying to be smarter about com reference and things is probably more. Hey, look, John's going to take credit for a bug in 3.9, and, and feel free to drop it at 3.9. It's a good way to get mentioned on Bob's blog, fix bugs, and then he'll say nice things about you when we release. He's if much, I can find them, yeah. He's, he's much better about it than I am. So. Eh, release notes, they're useful. Well, there won't be a release note for this one, there'll just be a bug fix, so maybe you have to write this well, one on the side. Yeah. All right, cool, John's going to take a bug for us and make it go away, which is always awesome. Uh, running the command... Just look here. All right, nothing special. If I run this, if I run sh, who's running sh? All right, well, all right. So if you suppress the hashes, that happens. Any parameter to the binder somehow trips the file. I doubt it's any parameter to the binder. Right, right, right. Because dash b should work. Um. Well, if you look, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you look at the the help you know, light, light slash question mark, um, it breaks up the, it breaks up arguments. Oh, for binder versus, yeah. yeah that's, so oh, there's yeah. a bunch of MSI specific binder stuff that's broken out separately. So, uh, um, what, what is source dir supposed to do? Is that supposed to be a reference to the actual root? The, or the, it's the, it's the, um, it's, what, it's another way of saying unnamed bind path. Um, the my mouse cursor is not going to show up here. Um, the last example where source equals file one dot text inside the compiler it prepends source dir whack for you because it's basically like that's supposed to be the same. Or it does the equivalent of prepending source dir whack for you. It's basically another way of saying the unnamed bind path, and it's a hangover from Wix one because of the way that the target dir source dir trees would automatically flow down to your sources of your files so you can lay out your file tree the way that your source disk image would be laid out and then you don't have to do anything it would automatically hook it all up for you interesting um and so source there is the root of the you know where the files are found yeah okay that's what it is this really throw like this should not happen yeah and it, i'm a little 
perplexed how it happens, but you know, whatever. Interesting. I've never I've never used that syntax. I'm not sure that I even knew that it existed. So, well, like I said, it's very very old. Yeah. Well, and and you know, again, name bind pass, name bind pass dash b. You know, they cover everything. Yes. Anyway, I don't know why sh would matter. Yeah, that is an interesting bug. So it seems like something we could fix in 3x. Yep, I agree with that. Oh boy! All right, now I have to figure out how to navigate over here. Oh, cool! My little grave things. All right. All right. So we're done here. Um, I believe so. We're gonna go from a list of six to a list of. Oops, not untriage. Open. <laughs> it's like yeah, zero. No, twenty-one. Um, all right, down here. Cool. Can't please add a few words to candle 0103. So I was working on this book because it's assigned to me, and I was like, ah, I should be able to fix this, no big deal. Turns out that the way this is done is by throwing an exception that throws a file not found exception that ends up being caught in various places and all this other kind of stuff. Um, and this is nowhere near as easy as <laughs> I had hoped it would be to change the message. Um, and so it ended up being a bigger change than I wanted to bother trying to get working in 3.9. So I would like to propose that we put this back in 3x. If you're okay with that. No, you must, you, you, you agreed you must fix it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. I was never. I, I know you were never that worried about it, but. No, I was not. I, I'm really not thrilled with that message of that exception. I'm particularly not thrilled that it is used in so many places. Anyway, it's a throwback to our misuse of exceptions, or not most, not great use of exceptions in the early versions of Wix, and we've fixed that over time. But yeah, yeah. Anyway, run async elevator process after install. I think we're still discussing this one, or is this in? I'm. It's not in. There, there are. There are comments on the pull request, and Sean is typing a message. Oh well, yeah, we just need to sit down and talk about this one. Um, and I've been busy this week, so I haven't been able to get back to it. I, I had like a burst of working through this, and then I haven't gotten back to it. Um, What if, you know, I'm, I'm thinking maybe we should set up another meeting outside of this one to discuss this feature, um, these big things. That might be easier. Uh, Sean, would that be interesting? And anybody else, like, you know, other people have been working for and want to jump in, and we can just, like, discuss this thing on this time. All right. Uh, let's do that. Um, and any others. And then and any others that are big, right? But this one is the one that's like, yeah, you know, it, it's really, this thing is really far along from the feature. We just have to close the last few things that I wasn't sure about in the end. So let's let's do that because it's, it's an important thing to get right given all the you know elevation stuff that's involved in it. Um, patch bundle uninstall does not remove superseded patch. I am still working on this one. This is a very small change that I need to test. And actually, I wanted to go ver see. I wonder if this bug is actually the same as one of these bugs up here. Um, but I need to go look at them again. That's entirely possible. Yeah, that it was something like anyway. I need to go look at that, make sure it fits with the other books. But I, I'm still working on that one. Um, Bob. Oh, yeah. Um, I need to go ping the right people. Okay. Uh, if, if it doesn't happen, um, it's unfortunate because, it, you know, without... For three nine, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Um, going we'll forward, I would like to. Sorry. We'll move to three ten. Well, yeah, um, yeah, we'll keep doing that. Uh, except, I think it, if if it doesn't happen for four five two, um, I'm going to want to propose something different because we're reliant on mm. a couple of people 
a, a certain couple of people in Microsoft to make this happen for every .NET release. And I think that's probably not the right way to go. Okay. And I say this knowing who the right people are. Yeah. Uh, there's still no guarantee that it's going to happen. So. I'm all right. I'm I'm down with that. So you want to keep this for a little bit longer, and then. Yeah, let's let's keep it open in case I can make it happen. But I think uh, even if it does happen for four five two going forward, and maybe this is a four zero thing, um, I want to look at at not having not using the yeah uh, no. the the link. Yep, I hear you. I know what you're saying. So. <clears throat> All right, so deprecate switches that no longer exist in V4.0. I'm actually almost done with this. Um, I oh, need cool. to go verify a few more things. So that should show up in the next week or so. Cool. I expect this is another one of those. Uh, Jacob, bundle self-update. I know we have a pull request out there, but it says, you know, use this if you're, you know, if you're uh, confident in your understanding of something or other. And I was like, uh, that doesn't sound like something we should pull in quite yet. <laughs> At least that's what I remember for it. Um, I think this one also, this one, I don't know if it's as far as long as the async elevator process. Ah. All right, so there's a pull request. Um, I'm wondering if we need to, maybe we should try to get Jacob and Sean in a time and we should sit around and talk about, the, oh, well, if it's going, then. All right, well... How about we try to get a, the, we'll stick the async thing in this bundle self-update into one meeting if we can. If not, we'll have two and then try to get all you guys together just to finish. It might be faster than trying to do it all in pull, pull request comments. I'm sure it will be faster. Does that sound reasonable? Since both you and Sean have, um, yeah, I'm sure the merging, rebasing is a pain. Yes, especially in burn. Um, at some point, we shouldn't keep making you do that. So does that sound like a reasonable thing to do? Just sit down and finish this in a conversation? Yes, sure. All right. Sean's yeah, game. All right. I think we just need to do that because these are, we've discussed them. I think we just need to land them at this point. I agree. Um, and we just need to, there's enough fiddly details. We just want to, it's too much still pull requests. All right. I will get that together. Um, since we have this meeting technology, I okay, use it for more. Um, add Unicode support for WCA log. Uh, I, I got no response to the ping, so I want to move this to 3x. I'm down with that. Cool. Move MS build tasks from .NET to v4. I'm still uncertain that we should do this. But um, well, the example was uh, the previous one we had with, uh, um, yeah, the uh, label attribute not being known. It's the same thing. Okay. It's a general cleanup thing. Uh, we currently require both 2.0 and, and 4.0 CLRs. That's what it is. So it, this is not is. this is not harmful. Um, it, it well, yeah, anyway. Uh, but again, there was no uh, response to my ping. Blair has disappeared. Um, well, I disappeared, but um, yeah. no response to my ping. So again, this I think should be moved back to 3x. Yeah. Let's see if it comes back around for 3.10 in a yeah. simple way. Um, I assume this is gonna be the same thing if you didn't hear from <laughs> Blair. Uh, hold on, I'm having, I'm getting prompts from Tiny Bugs saying, "Do you want to leave this page?" And I haven't applied anything. Um, yes, same response. All right, and this one, I saw the pull request go by, but it was in the week where I haven't had time. Um, Win 7, 64-bit, NetFX 452. Yeah, I uh, I just have to, uh, Sean, you sent uh, an update uh, last night, I think, so I just have to go back. Cool. And yeah, the curious what the .dot .net guys are do with that. Excellent. Well, yeah, on a on a separate thread, I, I have interest from people. I have general agreement that that .dot .net should should block since we since .dot .net no longer supports Win7RTM. 
Yeah. And I also have interest um, in understanding what the heck went on. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. That, that, that I have from Eric. So, yeah, okay. Oh, uh, Eric. Uh, I'll, I'll try to set up um, a repro for uh, IDNA. All right. He expressed an interest in that. So. All right. So now we're into the land of Heathbugs, where he said something about he wanted he had a feature that he needed to do, and then he's going to get the rest of these. Feature's done. That was the. Oh, very good. Yeah, the feature that I forget. <laughs> Uh, none of these are marked as features, so it m wasn't on this list. It maybe it's already resolved. Already in. Already in. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Sean. <laughs> I knew it was. Oh, redirect the cache file. That's in now. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Yep. So you can set a policy and it will move. That's, well, it will move. Sorry. It, it, the next one will be moved. <laughs> the next one will be in the new location. Yeah. It doesn't doesn't move the. Existing. No, no, no. It, it, nor should it. Yeah. That's just. I mean, a tool to move it is cool, but. Cool, that's nice to have in. All right, so then these are going to come. I'm I'm like, yeah, whatever. I assume you and Heath and Bob are on board with what's coming on in here? Um, For the most part. Um, Do we need to go over each of these? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, we can, you know... Uh, we can talk about them when pull requests come in, if there's uh, issues to be concerned about. Okay. Um, in general, I'm I'm you know happy with most of them. I was I was going to suggest we should not take 4428, um, but lo and behold, they released a CTP of yes. um, Visual Studio yep. Dev 14, so I guess that's reasonable. I think 4427 is the one I worry most because that's the one that could have the security implications. So um, that's a fair point. So anyway, that's a fair point. This has to be in a secure location. So the the, the issue with 4427 is that currently the command line is set in the uh, HKLM, right? It's on the elevated side, such that it comes back after startup. So wherever we store this resume command line needs to be in a non-user location, so you can't change the command line when it resumes back. Right. So, like, the resume file, which is stored in the cache with the bundle, should be fine, but uh, other places like the temp folder would not be good. Anyway, yeah, resume file should be fine. That works. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, that's right. Run once gets automatic elevation, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it does. Um, cool. Then I think we're done here. Yeah, that works. All right. So Heath's on the on the gun. We need to talk to Jacob and Sean so we get their stuff in here. Everybody else is going away, and my bug's punted. My other bug I will get. My other bug I'm almost done with. So we're gonna be good next week, right? Assuming. He gets all his stuff in. We will not be at 21, which is a little scary. It is a little scary. But all right. So I think we're done with triage, and we have three minutes and a half hour. Although we started a little late, so it's all good. Um, questions, comments, things like that. Um, I guess I will send out um, a meeting request. Uh, Jacob, Sean, if you guys could drop the time zone you're in and the come from it you know in space I'll try to find a time zone that's not too crazy um, and maybe some times that work best oh look they're wow they're in standard time what are you, what are you in Indiana <laughs> <Wait>. oh. <laughs> that might that... be possible <laughs> Jacob's in CSD Sean's in CDT and it's just like wow how's that possible but there is a little bit of that I forget I think it's Indiana <laughs> oh <laughs> Eric is like, Jacob's my next door neighbor, and I didn't even know it. That's gonna be so hilarious. Um, well, I'm I'm right across the lake. Yeah, that lake's not fun to swim though. So. Uh, that's true. <laughs> oh, you people, Wisconsin people, and your funny name towns. Um, <laughs> I remember I was going to to Europe on a backpacking trip all by myself, and I, I was in, it was through O'Hare. 
was I think how I was connecting to London. And I looked up on the board, and there's this town called like Kalamazoo, and I'm like, that sounds like something in Africa or something, right? You know, and I, and later on I find out it's in Wisconsin or something. I was like, it's in Michigan. Actually. Michigan, yeah, yes. yeah. I'm just like, oh well, that's that's really not nearly as, eh, yeah. But it was funny when I tell people the joke. Anyway, so <laughs> wow, they just figured out there. Are, wow, look, this meeting bringing people together. They're like an hour apart. Uh, well, yeah, that, exactly, Heath. That's that's why a lot of the names, also in you know Wisconsin and Michigan, are are quote unquote funny sounding because. Yeah. So I, so you know. Seattle, Sammamish, Snohomish, all that stuff out here has a certain sound to it. But Kalamazoo, for some reason, struck me as something that was in in um, Africa. I have no idea why, but it, it did. Kalamazoo. Um, yeah, well, and you got nothing on New England. I mean... I know very little about New England names beyond, like, New York okay. and Boston and, you know, no, that's <laughs> Providence. Not, that, I, you're that's, like... Yeah, <laughs> those but, names are all reasonably, you know, Anglo-Saxon or whatever it is. <laughs> wait, wait until you get into Massachusetts, oh. and you know, you, you have towns like Worcester. Worcester? Well, that's. I mean, okay, whatever. Yeah, but it's spelled W-O-R-C-E-S-T-E-R. Oh, that's like Wowchester. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Cool. My, All my right. Obviously, <laughs> this meeting. Oh, we're gonna go on and on. Yeah. Obviously, this meeting is over, which is good because I have a meeting that I have to run to in five minutes. But if we're all good, we're all good. We can hang out a little and joke a little bit because it's been fun. Like I said, Fire Giant's a year old. That's pretty fun. It's pretty crazy. Um, you already blogged it. I did. Okay. I think. Didn't I? I don't know. Uh, it's it's been yeah it's been it's been no no I probably didn't push all right I'll fix it <sighs> blog post publishing system still not sorted in my head anyway I'll go out there all right so but once again I am I am way too many blog posts past the three technical blog posts that I have written or mostly written that I've not finished. I need to finish those so I quit posting all these personal things. People are probably like, I'm giving up on this blog. He never talks about anything interesting anymore. Anyway, um, the peanut gallery is quiet. So we have central time. Uh, during office hours or after office hours, John, Sean, Jacob, Heath, you guys that might want to join in. I'm bringing John in because he shows up pretty much at all of our meetings. Um, <laughs> all right, Sean's ambivalent. Uh, uh, so, Jacob, I'm looking for a tiebreaker. I, I understand not AM, but I'm, I'm asking, do we have to do this during school hours or after school hours? <sighs> like... Will your boss be upset that you're on the phone for a half hour any time? Yeah, just need notes. Fine. Cool. All right. Well, we'll go find it. Right. So we'll just have to go find a time slot of random time slots. All right. Cool. Then I might pick something. Let's see. Maybe early in the morning for me. Because you guys are too ahead of me then. That might work. All right. Well, we'll figure it out. Um, I guess that's it. This has been a fun meeting. Uh, things are looking good. 3.9 is trying to finish, which is part of the reason we need to have these extra meetings, just so we can go sort these big features at the last minute. Cool. And get everybody out there using builds. Um, Bob, do we need to build every Monday still? Uh, we didn't. I didn't do a Memorial Day. I was out of town and all that kind of good stuff. Um, do we need a... Um, let's see. Last one was 5.26. Yeah, two, two uh, weeks ago. Have we pulled enough things that you want one this Monday? Yeah, I think I think we've okay. Yeah, yeah, there've yes. been a few, there've been several uh, several pull requests accepted. So yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and cool. when we land the the big features and heat bugs, we can I think declare that the RC. Okay. Oh yeah, great. Here's a whole bunch of functionality. RC. Uh, we might do the build after, or we might do a midweek one and then have people hit it, like those That's... people that had features, and then. Like, That's you know. an excellent idea, yes. Because <laughs> who knows what happens when we smash all that stuff together. It'll all work perfectly, but you never know. Yeah. Well, I don't want to volunteer the, the our, our release engineer. Well, yeah, uh, well, I, I can do that. It's not too bad. Still need a little more work, but not too bad. All right, cool. 
Um, then I think that's all we got. What a what a wonderful day, the day after turning one. It still feels kind of weird. I think it's because so it's like I wrote in the blog post. I don't think the first year was really going to be the big year. It was always going to take longer than a year. Anyway, so, ladies, gentlemen, mostly gentlemen at this point, um, pretty much always gentlemen at this point, but uh, I think we're done. So, until next week, you guys keep it real. Go code, write a whole bunch of code, and uh, we'll talk to you next week. Bye. Bye-bye.